good morning friends let's let's continue our discussion on uh, java rdd uh, transformation methods in in this uh, video uh, we will cover the some more, some more test cases for rdd mapping so the previous video as we discussed that uh, we created a list of string of data of 100000 size which are uh, random length strings and then we actually uh, demonstrated this map method in the previous unit test case that uh, we are mapping uh, this all is rdd rdd of string of uh, variable uh, length and then we are mapping it to a new rdd and that new rdd would be just containing the length of all those strings and then we call this terminal operation which is the count action method uh, which will uh, do the count of all those uh, the new rdd data set that is created and we expect that this new uh, this uh, this new rdd which is created having the same length as 10 th as 100000 which is the data size so if you go more into details about this uh, count method that we used and this is an action right so action is a terminal operation and only then the lazy uh, operations like transformations will take place for the count we return the number of elements in the data set this is what we have been doing here okay so now let's write a very similar test case where we do again demonstrate the same thing that we are, will map this rdd rdd of strings into uh, the string length and then we use a different uh, action method here so we can use this collect method now. So collect method returns all the elements of the data set as an array at the driver program. This is useful, usually useful after a filter or other operation that returns a sufficiently small subset of the data. Because just guys, guys think about it, that the collect method should be called uh, only when uh, the data set is small, which means that uh, because all the data would be from all the worker nodes that would be transformed back to the driver node. And in the driver node, it will be written as an array uh, of the data set. So only if the data set is small, uh, it's not very, very huge. Otherwise the driver program can uh, have like performance issue or it can just crash because of that, that amount of big data. So because in our case, it's a very small data, it's only 100,000 data. So let's try to run the same thing. The only thing that uh, will change is that we'll change it from count to collect. So let's route, write this unit test case now. I'll just copy this to save some time and we just change it as collect similarly here as well we are using collect method and parallelized data everything is same here we'll just change it to collect okay now it is giving me str length of list of integer and here we will, because we are returning, using collect, we are returning a list of integer. So here I will check the size. Okay. Now see guys, there is a, a big difference here. When we run this collect method, it is returning me the list of integer, which means that whenever we map this RDD, right? Uh, this RDD of containing variable strings, when we map it to a new RDD, then the new RDD just containing the length of each of the string in that data. And when we collect it, it will just return me the list of integer here in this case in the count method it was just counting the number of data present in that new rdd but in this collect method it would be uh, sending me back as a list of integer as a list of objects as we have discussed here as well in this api they return all the elements of the data set as an array at the driver program here the array is actually an array list that that will be that uh, is uh, interpreted here okay so map this collect will be having list of integer and then we check that the size should be exactly same because it would be again those mapping that has been created it should be exactly same as the data size and then we benchmark it with, with the start and end time so let me other change it here is our let's collect method okay now let's uh, put, a uh, put a debug point here and see that what is the exact uh, what is going inside it in this data so I click on this debug here. So this time the collect will be actually returning me the actual RDD uh, length for each of the each of the data which is present in that RDD after mapping it. So let's see. Okay, so it's running now. So as we see that right now, uh, if I check the HDR lengths here. It is having a size uh, size of like five zero zero five and all, and if I also hover over here for that actual data, 
we can see that the first string is having a length of five one two three four five and the same is printed here the next two are blank strings that's why the, the length is zero the third one the third uh, data is like uh, one two three four five and again five and all so this is like very sequential the data that we have the string data the same has been has been mapped to a new rdd and when we call the collect method here it is actually mapping uh, just having the, the, the length of each of the string and stored it into this list of integer and this is why how we can actually see that what's going inside this data okay so i will just remove this debug statement now and click on resume and then it will run okay so it's already run uh this time let me run it once more time with, uh, without any debug and just let it run so this time the only difference between this test and the previous test was that we are we have changed the terminal operation we are using collect instead of count count will just give me the long uh, long result with the actual size of the rdd and collect will actually give me the complete list as an array to the driver program our my our driver program is on the same server that's why it's uh, the same their program and the data size is very small that's why uh, it's not going, going to impact in any performance so this was all about this collect method now let's write uh, learn about another uh, action which is the map reduce which is the most common way how to use this mapping uh, transformation